S11 sunglasses makes it like the water is not even there. Hi, I'm Greg Hackney, and this week on Michiana Outdoors, we're going to talk about downsizing your jig. You know, I've talked in links in the past about, you know, throwing a heavy jig, you know, going heavier to be more efficient and cover water. And one thing that has dictated that for me over the last few years is the seasonal change of the Bassmaster Tournament Trail. You know, the majority of the events that we fish now, we're dealing with water temperatures, realistically, that I hardly ever see a water temperature that's colder than 55 on the tournament trail. Now I fish a lot at home during the winter time to get ready for the Elite Series and that's typically when I use a lighter jig. Um, there's a couple reasons for using a lighter jig. You know a, a lot of times in that super cold water like that those fish are not super aggressive and you want a bait that it's almost like if you use a jig too big sometimes when they're not in an aggressive mood it actually spooks them or has a tendency to push them off away from the bait, you know, when it bangs in there on top of them. Um, a lot of times when they're cold and they're sitting in a dormant position, you know, I like, I'm able to slip a light jig in there. You know, I go as light as a quarter, I'll downsize like the profile of the jig. Uh, but typically in really cold water, even fishing pretty deep, a 3 8 is a pretty large size jig. I know that sounds funny coming from me when you hear me talk about throwing an ounce and a quarter and a one ounce and a three quarter, but that cold water jig fishing and when I'm casting a jig is a totally different deal. Um, you know, depending on what part of the country you're in, you know, in the south where I grew up at, you know, when you got down below 45, you say getting into that 42 degree range, you know, if you used a big jig, you'd never get a bite. Or when I say a big jig, a heavy weighted one. And I downsized to a 3 8 and uh, uh, two things that that does. One thing, it makes that jig move real slow and real natural. A lot of times I still like a big profile. You know, I'll still use a similar trailer. I may go to a KVD chunk during cold water too because I want that big profile. I just don't want any action because a crawfish or a bluegill during that time of the year, you know, they have a tendency to move slow. Every, their metabolism slows down, so they slow down. Uh, another thing that I, uh, that it allows me to do with that, it slows me down. Because the deal is if I cast a three quarter ounce jig out there and I say I lift it that high, well it instantly goes right back to the bottom. Well as soon as it hits the bottom, it's just human nature, you'll want to move that jig again. Where a three eighths or a quarter ounce jig with a you know with a big plastic trailer on the back, you know, it's slow. So to keep me in contact with the bottom, it slows down how I fish it. Now, you know, if I, I pull up on a piece of grass in that cold water you know, I, everything just slows down everything. It slows down the jig, it slows me down, and it's a more natural presentation. Now, one thing that I do that um, during that time of year, if I'm, if I'm dealing with extremely clear water, you know, now I'll go to a finesse jig. You know, I'm a sure enough small profile. I'll even downsize my line. And typically, that's how I dictate my line size, too. I can get by with big line if I'm catching them on a one ounce jig regardless of water clarity because that jig will do what it needs to do on big line. So now if I downsize to a 3 8 or even a quarter or I'm using a finesse jig, now I'm going to have to be, you know, 14 or less because I want to be able to stay in contact with it and feel it. And if you throw that same little jig out there on 20 pound test, you know, a lot of times you will never even know when it gets to the bottom. Another thing that happens then using a light jig, they typically don't slack it. You know, now I'm dealing with a, a more of a pressure bite. A lot of times, it, and it, it amazes me how they can do that, that you can be in contact with that jig the whole time, and all of a sudden it just gets weird And how they do that. And they bite a light jig like that a lot. That fast moving jig, you know, in warm water, it'll, it'll, they'll have a tendency to kill it, crush it, and suck it in. And you'll feel that, thump, or you'll see the line jump. But in cold water, a lot of times, you know, fishing around cover, fishing around grass, rock piles, all of a sudden, when you pick up and it feels like a piece of grass, chances are that's your bite. And that's the bite you'll get a lot of times in cold water or with a light jig. 